Hey, what's up guys, Sebastian here. And in today's video, I wanna answer the question, how long does a winning campaign actually last? And this is a very frequent question with people that you know are launching campaigns, they're testing products. And actually, a lot of people that are just starting out, they haven't even launched the campaigns. They wonder this because they ask themselves, man, I'm gonna do all this work, all this research, and maybe my campaign is not gonna last long. So really, the answer is, there was a time where you could just launch a campaign it was an evergreen product and you know you will start crushing it crushing it and it will last a long time i'm not gonna say exact dates but it could last you know six months or more now i'm not saying that right now that doesn't work and yeah people are making money with ads for months and months and months but the thing is that campaigns don't last very long and that's just the reality sometimes they last a month sometimes they last two months depends on the trend depends on the niche and how you know competitive is the niche because nowadays there are a ton of marketers out there on facebook doing competitive research taking a look at your ads even though you're trying to hide them with dark posts or you are just you know not pay, telling people about your store or your ads there's always gonna be people spying on facebook and your ad can pop up because maybe they fall into the audience that you target them my point is a lot of people are doing competitive research and when that person figures out that you have an ad, then they launch it and then another person copies them, it starts going, um, not like viral, but becoming popular and competition surges, costs go higher. So you will see that campaigns don't last, don't last a super long time. Like people think they last for a year. And for some people it may happen, but for the majority of people, it doesn't happen that way. So what I want to tell you is that when you find a winning product, you gotta take the most advantage as possible. You gotta take advantage of the momentum and start scaling. Now, I'm not saying you should scale super fast, okay? You should see consistency first, but once you do, you can be confident that you can scale. Once you see consistency, once you see that you are consistently making a good return on investment, a good profits, don't be scared to increase the budget, okay? Don't be scared. Now, I'm not telling you to increase like by a thousand bucks or something like that, but since competition surges pretty fast and there's a lot of marketers out there, you wanna take the most advantage since you kind of like cracked the code on that product. So take advantage of that. Most of my winning products is just like I cracked the code, I exploded, and then it starts reaching a plateau, but I am always testing products. So here's another part. Don't get discouraged simply because I'm telling you that they don't last forever. Because obviously like nothing lasts forever. You know, all of these big brands, Nike, Adidas, and you know, all of these like clothing stores, big stores, they have to be constantly creating new products, making new promotions, even like McDonald's, they have their regular combo, right? But now they gotta come up with another type of hamburger because people are getting used to it and other restaurants are creating the same hamburger, et cetera, et cetera. It's just the process of business. And in Facebook, it happens the same. Products don't last forever. So you as a marketer, you gotta be constantly testing new products, testing new angles, testing new images, testing new audiences. You cannot just be like, man, I have a winning campaign, I'm making $1,000 per day, and I'm just gonna go watch Netflix or eat a sandwich. Okay, you cannot do that. You gotta be consistent and you gotta create habits of testing, of testing products, audiences, and different niches. And it's your duty as a business owner to grow the business and be constantly testing and being up to date with the hot trends and being up to date with what other people are doing and what's actually working. So your campaign might last a month, it might last two months, three months, four months, but eventually it will start reaching a plateau and you don't want to like be relying only on one product because that's like having all your eggs in one basket. You don't want to have all your eggs in, in one basket, meaning that all your money is coming from one product. What happens with if another big advertiser finds out and he like puts hundreds of thousands of dollars into that, you will see kind of like higher costs and maybe a decrease in sales slightly. Uh, but when a lot of people start doing the same thing, that usually happens. So. I know people that they have only sold one product and, and you know that's the only thing they have. So when it starts fading out, they have nothing else to develop into a winning products. So like for example, in, me, in my case, I definitely have had winning products where I focus most of my investment in, but I always have my new little babies coming up on my new tests. So if that starts fading out, I have my little babies, which I'm gonna scale. I can scale them at the same time, I can scale them later, but I'm gonna scale them and I'm gonna always be testing, always be up to date as a marketer. Things change fast in the intermarketing world. It's super dynamic and you just gotta get used to it, guys. It's part of the process. Any business happens. Don't be a lazy marketer 
and take action, okay? You gotta be up to date and take freaking action. So guys, that's pretty much what I got. If you like this video, you know what to do. You gotta subscribe, thumbs up, comment below, and share this with, some, so with someone that might find it helpful. So thank you guys for seeing this, and see you in the next one.